Hello and welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at DOT. Before we jump into the price action, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. And why not leave us some feedback down below. In the description you'll find a link to Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. Okay, so what we're looking for here is further evidence that we could be looking for either this as a C wave to the upside or potentially if with this does become a bigger move. Um, potentially in a third wave if we do move up towards this $12 area. So basically what we're looking at here is potential that this has been a flat correction completed into here. So we need to discuss a few things um, on the macro here. There is a few ways of looking at this move. We can potentially look at it as a W, X, Y, X, and then potentially a Z, which with that one-to-one -one would be down here towards this 280, and this 344 would be a one-to-one -one of this move as an A, a B, and a C. <clears throat> it could be, it would be possible, however, for this to extend to the upside and this to become an ABC and store fall within this pattern. So we need to just allow for that fact. However, there is also the potential that we could actually just move straight down from here, in which case, you know, we could see something play out where this becomes an A, a B, and we get a C wave to the downside, or alternatively, we could start to develop a five wave move. So we need to be aware that there is that potential still um, that we could actually look for lower lows here. Really, we need to start overcoming some of these key points like this previous X wave up here at this 968 to get rid of this bearish potential within here. But really, even if we do take this high, we'd have to be careful because potentially, you know, we could actually still look to break down. Um, if we interact with this channel line, fail to break above it, we could actually see a continuation from that point as well. So this is what we're discussing now. Um, you know, we got, there's a few ways of looking at this. And basically this is the um, the way that I'm looking at it as a, as a corrective pattern from the top. Um, there is also the potential that we could be looking at this as a flat correction here. Um, the problem with this is we would have to argue it when it completed into this high, otherwise it wouldn't really fit into the um into the analysis. Uh, but yeah, I mean I'm still looking out for this. If we did start to develop five wave moves to the downside, potentially we'll have to reevaluate how I'm looking at this move here. And then we could actually look for a five wave move down, potentially looking to actually target out this 346. Um, area to this 252. So what we would have to be cautious of is if we do form a five-way move to the downside, potentially what we'd need to look out for is an additional fourth into the same zone as this consolidation and whether we actually get further rejection and an additional fifth. So we'll have to be cautious of that if we do move down in a five-way move. Um, the alternative thing that I have been tracking at now um, and that would be looking at actually the potential that from further back here we could potentially have a triangle. So that would be looking at this move as potentially an A, B, looking for the potential of a C wave here. So there's a couple of things I wanna discuss here. So either this C wave isn't completed, and if we form a three wave move here that fails to break above this A wave high, which would be this nine, uh, what was that figure? Get right on here, nine, six, eighty. Basically, we could still see this play out. So even if we do move up forward, this as a one-to-one -one move up towards this 868.88 region, we need to be cautious because we could still actually see this um, play out where this becomes an A, this becomes a B. We get a C wave here, potentially another D wave, an E wave, and then we look to break down. This would put, put us um, in sort of a sideward motion here for a lot longer. So there is also the potential um, that we could look at this move slightly differently within this structure here and potentially argue that we have, um, we could count this differently and potentially argue that this is an A, a B, and a C already completed because it would have met that re uh, that requirement of that 0 0.618 as a C wave. The um, I am counting it as a B wave currently, but you know, these things we need to just uh, be open to. If we were wrong, then what we would be looking for is that possibility that we could actually form this D wave. So what I'm looking out for here is if we form a three wave move to the downside here, that fails to actually break below this B wave at this 422 range, potentially we could then look to actually form this D wave. The alternative would be to actually count um, this as a more complex move where we look at this as basically um, an ABC into here and then another ABC. So basically a double zigzag within the structure and this would then allow us to look at this as a more complex D wave 
um, and then we could look for this E wave right where we are now. So this is um, this is interesting because we actually came down to the 0.618 of the C wave, and I want to see how we react at the 0.618 of this move here. Like I said, you know, it is potentially possible that this could be an A, a B, and we actually come back down, and then we've got that D wave um, low at that point. But this is also a possibility. If we look at this as a one, two, three, four, and a five into here, this is a B. And we form another C wave up here, uh, not taking this high point of 790. Potentially in this area, we could actually have this as a triangle. And then if we start to develop five wave structure to the downside off the back of this, um, which does manage to actually come down and break this low of this 422, then it would be probable that this is actually a triangle in a fourth wave and that possibly we are looking at um, this bearish alternative where we're looking for this still to be a fourth wave within here, and then we're gonna potentially look to move down towards this 346 range to this 252 range. Um, so yeah, we need to get back above some of these key areas, particularly this um, this high here of this uh, 9690. We need to get back above that for uh, some some more clarity and to say that we aren't actually potentially looking to drop lower. So the alternative that we're also looking at here is, you know, we can or we can potentially argue that um, within this, this Z wave could actually be completed here with a three wave move, and then that's the end of the structure. So we need to monitor this. If we manage to stay above this 422, potentially we can look at this as, as, as a move starting away from this zone. So we need to um, see if it can manage to hold these key support zones. We have had a good move off of the 0.618 retracement, and we could be looking for that now. So we're going to discuss this current move to the upside. So the way I'm currently looking at this is if we were looking for this potential of actually looking to push up one more time for the C wave or potentially that bigger third wave, what we'd want to do is actually ma make sure that we maintain this, this low point of where we've got this marked as a B wave. We are within this channel. Currently, and I'd want to see us break above this um, for more certainty to say that we are, are, are not going to just move up into this in a three wave move and then actually break down again. So, you know, we need to be cautious because potentially we can count this move as a five wave structure down here. Um, so, we need to be cautious that we don't actually have this forming as a one, two, or an A, a B, and then we look to break down. So, that's what I'm currently looking at within these, within these structures. That possibility that, you know, we could. We could see a further continuation to the downside. So this would be that breakdown. We can see here this red box area would be a typical zone. We would actually look for a rejection. So that 618 is here, the 670. This golden pocket's right between this uh, 680 and the 670 zone. Uh, also quite interesting, we have a swing high here within this region. If we had to interact with this, as well as the channel and potentially start to sell off deeper, it could indicate that we're looking for a zigzag here. Um, in which case we could actually come back and retest the bottom of this channel. If we start to lose this 473 zo zone, though, it becomes less likely that um, this is a wave, a wave um, two to the downside, where we're looking for this as a, a, sorry, as a one, a two, and then we're looking to progress to the upside. If we start to lose this 473 zone, you know, we need to be very careful because this could actually look to actually take this low. Of this 422 and invalidate any bullish potential that we have currently so this is something we've got to just bear in mind really until we actually take this low back here at this 515 we can still look for some bullish potential so we're going to discuss that now so the way i'm currently looking at this move to the upside is the way um it's basically looking for looking at this in two ways so i'm looking to see whether this could just be a three wave move in which case, what we could end up having is just a move like this, where this becomes an A, B, and a C, so to the upside. So within this structure here, I'm going to come into the smaller time frames for this. The way I'm currently looking at it, we can we can move these counts around a little bit. We could argue that this is a 1, 2 into here. This is a 3, 4, and then a 5, already completed. Or alternatively, even then, you know, within that, we could still see this looking for one more push to the upside here. So the way I'm currently looking for it is whether we're going to get a push one more time up here towards this six, uh, 681 to this 674 area. This could be a potentially interesting zone if we do move up in a five-wave move into this area. What we'll have to see 
is whether we actually whether that is actually the completion of this third wave up here or whether actually our third wave was here this is our fourth and then we're looking um for this zone for this fifth wave so ideally i'd like to see one more wave up here uh, we can argue that within here yeah, this is uh one two three four and then five but uh, you know, it would be neat if this was a fourth and an additional fifth year. So we're going to have to see if we move up into this zone and then we actually come back and retest this lower range here, then potentially we could look for one more uh, move to the upside and then potentially looking for moving up higher into the zone of the 694 six, to this 6791 range. So that, that's what I'm looking for with that potential to move up into this area. Um, if we do break down from this current location and we start to lose the zone of the 6211, this would actually invalidate, well, it wouldn't invalidate, that only comes by dropping down lower here towards this 6091 range, but basically it makes it less probable. You know, there is always the possibility within these waves we could form extensions where this becomes another 1, 2, then it pushes up 3, 4, 5, and then this just basically extends the shape out if it is looking to extend and become a bigger impulse. Um, but for the most part, even a move up into this up into this channel would satisfy the minimum requirement um, for this structure. So let me just throw this into this low, get up into this high. So we'll read you up. So we've already come up to this 0.618 and we have taken this A wave high. So technically speaking, this has done enough to complete C wave. So we need to be just a little bit cautious if we do start to turn around from here. You know, potentially uh, that could be what is going on. Alternatively, we could be looking to extend where this becomes a one two and another one two, and we're going to discuss that now. But uh, we could still push up higher here. Like I said, if we did, potentially the six eighty region would be interesting. If we move up to that seven eight six, it would be more towards the top end of this box six nine five, and then obviously if we look to extend up even higher, potentially towards this one to one at the seven thirty. So. That's what we're looking out for. The thing we've got to be cautious of is, like I said, you know, right in this, right in this zone we're sort of sitting now. This next leg up here is right in that um, that golden pocket, which is at six seven oh nine to the six eight oh one. That is a potential zone that we could actually look for a rejection and then look to push to the downside again. So keep an eye on this area. Um, if we do manage to hold support above this 3575 potentially we can look for continuation and we're going to discuss that now so let me just change that over um the alternative way of looking at this is basically looking at this as a one two and then potentially looking at the possibility that we are looking for another one and a two here so basically within this the, the the alternative options which we've talked about previously um just before this they are still valid. We could still look at this as a fourth and a fifth, and then potentially yeah, our third wave, um, our third wave moves into this position. Um, or alternatively, you know, we could have completed our third here. This is our fourth, and we're looking to complete this fifth wave. So the key difference here is basically within this count, what we would be looking for would be um would be looking to actually maintain this 211 to this 594 on the retracement. So if we move up here and then we start to reject down, but we only reject down with a three wave move, which looks to target out this 6211 to this 594 range, potentially it could be setting us up for a bigger move here, looking for this to actually become a bigger structure, looking to push off to the upside and potentially um, move up into this zone of this 779 area up here as a 1.618 move. So that would be off of this 0 0.618. So we're gonna need to see how this plays out. If we do develop a bigger move like this up into this area, what I'd be looking for is then additional potential for a fourth and a fifth. And then if this move actually moved up higher here, you know, potentially past this zone here of this 845, what we'd then be looking for would be a, the potential of forming another fourth and a fifth wave here. It is still possible for this third wave to finish short of this. Um, it just becomes, we just get more confident in the fact of that um, when we move past this 1618. Though even if we do move past 1.618, 1, 1 we need to wait for evidence of this fourth. Because sometimes what we'll get is we'll get a three wave move which moves up to this 1618, but then actually comes back down 
and it crosses this high point invalidating um, impulsive structure. So it's not guaranteed just by crossing this that we'll get a fourth and a fifth, but it is the first um, thing that we sort of start to look for. If we do then get that, we could look to actually push up higher towards this uh, 929 to this 878 region. So this is what we're looking out for. And this could then tie into that idea of having that bigger that bigger move to the upside here where we are looking at this as a as an ABC pattern. So that one to one is actually up here at this 868. So you can see how this would actually then tie into actually getting us up there. But we've got to overcome this channel. We need to maintain these support zones. This 575 area needs to hold. And if we do start to retrace down here, we do need to hold above this um, 59448. Um, so 5948. Basically, this is going to be our key area. If we start to break through this, uh, it starts to become less likely that this is going to hold. And then we'd have to be on the lookout for the potential that we could be starting a, another sell off, which could look to bring us back into the support box. And we find support potentially lower down here towards a 786. Or alternatively, this could then be starting a bigger move to the downside where, you know, this could become an A, B and a C, which potentially could take us past this low. Um, or alternatively, this could become a one, a two, and then we break down for that three, four, five. You know, there, there's a couple of options available here. Um, we can also, if we just form a three wave move here, look at that potential of that triangle. Uh, we need to be careful of that. It's quite a sneaky one if it is one. Um, and it will be quite a violent move off the back of it. So we'll have to see here. It is potentially possible that we could see a triangle like that um, play out. So keep an eye out for it. Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. Leave us some feedback down below. And also in the description, you'll find a link to Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. As well as that, you'll find affiliate links for both Prime SBT and Bybit down there. Both great exchanges that we use on a regular basis. Check them out if you don't have an account. Using the affiliate link does help support the channel. And we do appreciate it. Everyone, have a great weekend. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.